I don't and know if they're so these, scared anymore. Is, are these guys playing for top eight? I believe they're playing for top 16. Oh, okay. And on the other side of the world, William we, Nichols with Merfolk. We have the fishies. Uh, yeah, so... Um, it's interesting, he still has a ton of lords. I, I actually don't know if he has three Coral Helm commanders or five. <laughs> I think it's five. I, it looks like five. <laughs> it really looks like five. But uh, Curse Catcher turn one for William. Uh, let's see what Gerard does. Uh, Land goat. Be before this matchup, I thought was really good for Rug, but eight Island Lords is, is I think That's it's too much. Lords. Yeah. I know a lot of people have switched over to Merfolk. Um, mm -hmm. Josh just ran the tables today. Yeah. Just XO2. Josh Cho. All right. Silver Gill Adept revealing a, one of his five Coral Helm commanders. I think we should tell the audience at home there are, are probably not five Coral Helm commanders. <laughs> I'm sure that the judges would have caught this at this point, but it sure looks like a five the way that the I'm, chicken scratching is on this uh, deck list. I'm pretty sure the viewers at home know there's not five. <laughs> Does that one guy like what? I know, Do they I just, not know the rules? I just don't want anyone out there to think that our <laughs> our gesturing here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna have a, an end of turn yep. brainstorm. This this is the kind of brainstorm you do not because you're happy to be brainstorming like this, but because there's limited time. You only yes. have so much time, and Curse Catcher says no. Yeah, and he's going to do a responsive combat so he doesn't take the extra damage. So, Brainstorm main phase. Gerard hoping, I think, for just some uh, action, basically. Mountain of some kind, Volcanic there's, Island. There's uh, many uh, Rebs uh, and... Oh, jeez. Fireblast. Oh, and Brainstorm Lands. Oh wow, this is bad. Brainstorm locked. That means put two cards back and no change to your board. So the Temporal Mastery player has time walked himself. <laughs> oh, ironic. All right. That is a uh, master, master of the Pearl Trident. Master. Smash in for three. Now that Island Walk would come into effect if Gerard had any creatures in play. Right. And Gerard now. This is a, a sad end to our hero's fight. I mean, fights. it's not over yet. He could ponder into something, and he probably has Lightning Bolt or Reb or something. I guess I kind of feel faithful in a Merfolk's ability to uh, fight through Dude, this yeah. moment. There is zero percent chance you should force of will this spell. Like, Here your, opponent's locked, <laughs> your opponent's locked. Just play all of your cards out. Is that a different lord? Yeah, it's the commander. You can just re replace the lord. Well, I think he just wants to play another lord and beat in for seven next turn. It's a lot of damage. Yeah, because then the turn after that, Gerard is not going to uh, have anything. So, force, force. Yeah, like, forcing a force, obviously, is what Gerard has to do. But, like, putting yourself in a position where you allow the rug player to do that right now isn't even that good. Make him force one of your spells and then you force that spell or something. And I think we're seeing Gerard's force work. Yes. And William... And his bolt? What is the bolt going to say? The bolt is going to deal three. Oh, he has Oh, a... my God. Oh, that's, that's William's whole hand. All in. Why didn't you pitch this to merge first? <laughs> Not over the commander. And he's like, well, let's get rid of this. I don't want to draw land. I better thin it out. Yeah, yeah, we don't play Brainstorm. Thin it out. <laughs> we did see a Brainstorm a Merfolk list last oh, really? uh, couple, like last month, but uh, this is not one of them. Because I remember feeling the same way, like, whoa, Brainstorm. <laughs> yeah, all right, so we have one turn to draw just anything that'll win. Like, if Williams draws a Lord, I think this game is completely over right now. He just doesn't need to brick, because Gerard is a lock for another turn, might have another removal spell. So any type of pressure off the top is going to be just uh, game ending. Let's wrap this gold dragon sleeves. Hope that a <laughs> land comes to the top. Dragon shields. There we go. Hope uh, Gerard's think, thought process right yep. now. Yep. Put it down. All the good cards at the bottom. <laughs> Here we go. Temporal really? mastery. It was not uh, an island. I don't think it's a lord. Oh, I'm wrong. 
Ooh, Ooh. all right. Uh, in for seven. Take seven. Sir, you will not be fork bolting any of my creatures. Okay, Gerard. And Williams is... Uh, Here's the second drop of his brainstorm. Nothing to do. Oh. Yeah, I mean, even if Gerard kills a lord, he's dead. No, that's no, not true. No, he's at two. Then he's at two. Yeah. What Gerard needs is a removal spell, and then a top deck, a land, and then do two removal spells in the next turn. He needs and to have William not draw another counter spell that matters, nor creature. I think what Gerard really needs is a miracle. <laughs> a will to beast to run into the room <laughs> and just over the table. Top, top oh, jeez. He's like, that was a good game, my friends. Yeah. Here's my hands. What can I do? 